Just got my annual load of gravel. We're going to start using it today. Hope you'll stick around on GP Outdoors. One of the small projects I mentioned to you folks I need to do this summer was I need to clean up the side of the house. My lovely wife's been asking me for a long time. It's been looking this way for a while. The original plan was we were going to actually put a garden in along here. That's why I never stoned right up to the side of the cottage. But as you can see, I haven't done a thing with it in years. So we decided we're just going to gravel this, the rest of this parking area right to the side of the foundation. So we're going to get this stuff out of the way, dig this up a little bit, maybe weed it down, and then uh, we're going to use some of our gravel, get her done. Put a smile on Carol's face. Well, got my second dose of that COVID vaccine on Monday. And I was told that, you know, you may feel nauseous or a little sick for a day or two. And, you know, a lot of folks were, but I could kind of knock the crap out of me. It's been five days and I still don't feel better. Hopefully it'll pass soon. Hey, I just wanted to take a minute to thank a longtime subscriber of the channel, John Graham. He got in touch with me recently. I didn't realize it, but John runs the Crown Rust Proofing out in Midland, Ontario. Asked me what I use to protect my tractor and my equipment, my attachments, the car, the boat, and was kind enough to send me a number of different products from Crown. Some salt eliminator, multi-purpose lubricant, some brake cleaner, penetrant, and of course, I think this is their Crown product their rust protection. In addition to that, sent me some glass cleaner, spot and stain remover, and a degreaser as well. John, I really wanted to thank you very kindly. I'm going to try them out over the summer. In fact, I'm going to use one of them today. I'm going to try this multi-purpose. They call it their T32. Funny thing, when I mentioned to Bob and Guy that I was talking to John, and I'd mentioned to him that he was with Crown. Turns out Husky Bobby's, he's been using Crown products for years. Really likes them, says they're great products. Not only that, it's a Canadian company. And in fact, all their products are still fully manufactured here in Canada. Nice. It's the first time I've seen this place bare in a long time. That snowmobile was a little tricky, but we got her.
It made it better in some areas and worse in others. I just don't want to get too close to this house or the deck. That'll do it. Should be good enough for me. It's kind of nice with the box blade. It ripped up a lot of the areas where there was lawn and I got nice big chunks of sod out so they were easy to get out of here. I know you don't like to have organics down underneath your gravel but <laughs> that's what we got. And this is just to finish this off so I think we're in good shape. It's reasonably level. Got out all the clumps. Smoothed it out a bit just to make sure. All right let's go find some gravel.
Oh, I think it's coming along. Could use a little bit more in this area right here. And as you can see, I went to the shovel to the side of the house because <laughs> I was pretty sure I was going to catch one of these cedar planks. I just kept getting a little closer and a little closer and, well, you know me, always like pushing the envelope. for our first base. I think I've only got about two inches in the highest part and you should probably get at least three to five inches on it so the only trouble is I've got other uses I want for that gravel so I don't want to use up too much but at least you know the beginning's done. And that I definitely knew better. I should not have gotten so close to the side of the house but you know you inch a little bit closer each time. But I think a couple of nails and maybe some outside wood glue will get that guy back together. But otherwise, she turned out okay. Certainly looks a lot cleaner than it did. I'm going to leave this for a bit. We've got some rain coming in the next couple of days, and then we'll see what it looks like. And depending on whether or not I order another load of gravel, I might put some more on here because I'd really like to get a nice 3-5 to five inch pack on here. So, Alright, well that's a wrap for today. Thanks a lot for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you again right here on GP Outdoors. Cheers.